Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery. Very excited to be doing a review on the American Knives Ultimatum in the Midtech version. Um, so there was a uh, run that was done uh, back in November of this year. Um, and it is a limited number run. Uh, only a couple dealers uh, were actually uh, carrying the product. Um, unfortunately, I got in a little late on the game, um, but I was able to uh, contact them and get a hold of these three here, um, which I've gone ahead and uh, done quite a bit of work on to uh, give them just a little bit different appearance. Um, so, as always, we've uh, done the custom anodizing, a lot of polishing, that kind of thing. Uh, to really give you a uh, more custom or unique view on your mid-tech knife. Um, so I was super excited to see that this uh, mid-tech run was being completed. Um, they did go with uh, Riot knives uh, for the actual manufacturing of the knife. So of course you got the fit and finish that you expect out of Riot and just an amazing design out of, out of American Knives. Um, super excited about this one. I've been trying to get a custom version of the Ultimatum uh, at the last uh, three blade shows that I've gone to and just have not had the luck to win the lottery to get the opportunity to buy one. Um, so uh, I've seen them at uh, Blade Show Texas twice, and uh, actually Blade Show uh, Atlanta twice too, I believe. So was very happy to be able to get my hands on these, and uh, he did uh, let me know that if he does do another run, he would consider me uh, for being an official dealer. Um, so these will be uh, posted on my website. I haven't uh, decided on an actual drop date on these yet. Um, pricing is going to be a little bit higher than what they had listed. Of course, you've got my custom anodizing, but I did not get a dealer cost on these. So I'm uh, in all three of these knives at full retail. Um, so I've got to make a mark it up a little bit more just to make sure I can cover my time and uh, everything but I really just was super excited and wanted to get my hands on these knives and get the opportunity to work on them and I have a very very strong feeling that uh, one of these will not end up on the website or will not end up with any stock um, because I think I'm going to have to hold on to one of these until I can actually uh, get the opportunity to pick up one of the custom versions. So let me go ahead and hit the overall specs on these. Um, so you've got an overall length of 8 inches, blade length of 3.5 inches, and it is your Bowler M390. Um, the blades are all milled out with the filt. Fuller for finger flip, thumb stud as well for thumb flip, and a top flipper. Um, so you do have three different ways to deploy the knife. Um, definitely uh, deploys very nicely. It is running just like all Riots on your uh, ceramic bearings around the pivot. You do have a steel lock bar insert. Um, in the frame lock. Uh, let's see, the handle on this one is 4.75 inches and the weight is a nice light 4 ounces. Um, so the titanium is milled out on the inside as well as the milling on the outside to allow them to get these inlays in. Um, you do have micarta inlays and carbon fiber. Um, I believe one was OD green, one was black, and then you had your straight carbon fiber. They did do a uh, special run uh, for one of the dealers that had a uh, Timascus uh, pivot collar. It might have had a Timascus pocket click. I'm not sure. I wasn't able to get my hands on any of those. So 
I'll just go ahead and talk about the ones we have here. Um, these two models uh, are done just a little bit differently. So these two you can see have a Zerk pivot collar. This one has a Zirconium Zerk backspacer. And these two are titanium backspacers. No Zerk pivot collar on this one. Um, so I believe his pricing when he dropped 400 and 425 um, which I thought was kind of interesting because the one with carbon fiber has even got the Zerk uh, backspacer. So definitely uh, would have been a little bit higher price wise but that is what I saw on the internet when I went uh, and did my research to figure out the pricing on these. Um, so let's see, pocket clip has your hidden screw, so it's screwed from the back side, and it is titanium. And of course, again, these are manufactured by Riot, so they are coming out of China, but they are as top notch as you're going to get. Uh, the fit and finish that uh, Riot produces, the quality knives that they produce is just head and shoulders above everybody else out there so really excited um, they are definitely uh, a well executed um, illustration of the ultimatum and uh, like I said I'm super happy to have these in hand uh, so much so that like I said I paid full price for these just to get them in and hopefully get the opportunity to become a dealer down the road. Um, so, fingers crossed that he does make another run of these. Um, I really do hope so, because I would love to get more of these to work on. Um, the response to Instagram has been really nice. Um, everybody's really enjoying the different colors I've put on them. So, let's go ahead and take a look at these one by one. So we'll go ahead and start off. This one is a polished teal that has a nice bronze storm. Um, unfortunately, the lighting is really making this pretty shiny. And we went with a purple bronze storm on the pocket clip. This is the carbon fiber version with the Zerk backspacer and the Zerk pivot collar. And I went with a purpley bronze on all of the screws, uh, including the thumb studs, which were a pain in the butt to get out. Um, I've still got to do a little bit more cleanup on these. Uh, as always, anytime you have these inlays, they are such a nightmare to get in and out and to get them in nice and smooth. It's quite a bit of work. So, to get this done right, it really does take some effort. They're centered in nicely. Like I said, you've got the fuller, so you can flip it out with your finger, which is my preferred operation. Thumb stud for the thumb flip, and then the top flipper. So, it deploys very nicely in any way you want to go ahead and deploy it. Lockup is nice and early on all of these. So that is the first one. <coughs> Pardon me. So this one is the black DLC. Super striking with that blue anodizing. Again, I went with the purple bronze on the hardware. Um, I love this color blue. The only problem is it is super fingerprinty. Um, so this one does fingerprint up quite a bit. Let's go ahead and So that does kind of muddy it up just a little bit Storm treatment turned out very nice on the pocket clip and it's got the blue silver storm treatment on that back spacer as well um, so And I did polish out the micarta as well Definitely gives it a much better look as well as feel as you're holding it. Um, it's not that slightly rough that the micard inlays started out as. Um, I really do like the offset of the blue to the black. And it is a black stonewash blade. 
So it does have a little bit of stone wash to it, which is always my preference. Anytime you get these DLC uh, coatings, I would much rather have a stone wash on it to hide any of the scratches. Because there's going to be a lot of wear and tear. Any EDC knife that's got black DLC on it is definitely going to have signs of wear. So this will help minimize that. Um, these do have some very, very aggressive jimping. I don't know that I would officially call that jimping. I'm not sure exactly what he's calling this. Very aggressive. It does kind of angle in at the top. And it doesn't really give you much thumb purchase. It's a little rougher on the thumb. Um, I think it's more of an aesthetic thing than anything. Again, these guys all flip out very nicely. Get another finger flip there. There you go. So that is the royal blue version. Um, again, this one does have the Zerk pivot collar, but titanium backspacer. Um, I do really like the sky blue that I've been doing some of here lately. So you got a nice sky blue here. And doesn't fingerprint up quite as much as the royal blue, but it does show some. So it's a little brighter if you windex it, but as you can see, still a very good look. Um, this, I think they were calling this an OD green uh, inlay, but it's almost more kind of a green, green to uh, brown. Um, again, polished out, so it feels really nice. I did go with the darker royal blue and the pivot um, and the screws for the back. And then, of course, you've got the storm and on the pocket clip and that backspacer. So these guys all turned out just super happy with how they went. Um, that's before you, there you go, once you. Once you touch it, it turns the same color as the pivot for that thumb stud. Um, these thumb studs were a pain in the butt to get in and out. Um, I do really like it when the uh, makers, sorry about the focus on that, the makers put a uh, torque screw head in there. Uh, these did not, so there was a lot of grabbing and working and tweaking and gee, imagine that, I cut my finger while I was doing it. Um, very sharp knives, so very happy with all three of these. Like I said, there is a very high likelihood that only two of them will actually end up going up for sale uh, because I'm going to have to keep a hold of one of these um, until I can actually get my hands on one of the custom versions. So. I haven't uh, decided on an exact drop date yet on these quite yet. Um, probably going to be right after Christmas, Christmas is my guess, because I'm not going to be able to ship them out anyways. Um, so keep an eye out on the website. I will go ahead and shoot an email to sign up for my email list as well, um, because I will send an email blast out letting everybody know what date and time. Um, it will either be Sunday or next Tuesday. I'm not quite sure which one yet. Um, like I said, I will uh, probably make that decision tomorrow and then go ahead and get all the communication out there. So definitely check out these and all the other nice uh, new knives that we have in stock that I've been working on. There has been a lot of uh, new influx in inventory. So please check out the website, see what we got going, and see if anything fits your bill. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.